Hello and welcome to another financial analysis video. Today I'm talking about Fastenal, which had uh, an earnings report this week that was not uh, taken very well by the street. The stock sold off and then recovered at the end of the week. It's right now sitting at 46 and change a share. It's up 19% from you know lower levels a year ago, but really you know since it went into the high 40s in December, you know, here in 2017, it's actually seen downward versus upward traction. And Fastenal has been a short favorite of mine for over a year now. Mainly that ties to the trailing price to earnings ratio of about 25 times earnings. And we're going to dig a little more into that later. But I first want to start by looking at the earnings report. You know, earnings met expectations uh, earlier this week. There was mention of uh, some hurricane impact on the company's finances. But Fastenal is a company, and, and this was rare back when I originally called the short, four consecutive earnings reports that it missed expectations. And, uh, you know, Two out of the last four it has met, and then two out of the last four it has beat. It's not a, a spectacular earnings report, and you don't see a ton of growth here. I'm going to move over to earnings changes. Growth has never, uh, from the earnings side, exceeded 5%. So for this company to be trading at you know 25 times earnings is a little odd to me. We're seeing a pretty consistent return on equity here. We're seeing a declining asset turnover and a declining return on assets. Again, nothing that's you know jumping out to suggest that there's any real growth here that would justify the valuation. Revenue growth, same story. You know, slightly above flat. Uh, you know, a couple of quarters of three percent revenue growth, but other than that, not much to hang your hat on. I'm gonna take you to this chart which uh, is a quarterly earnings estimate forward earnings over time and uh, you know right now we're in the fourth quarter of 2017 so it's this chart really only pertains to this information here and what I'm trying to show here is that you know there's some pressure as time goes on in determining what Fastenal's earnings are going to be going forward. In fact, in the most recent earnings analysis, I saw maybe an average of a 2% upward revision in earnings. And uh, last quarter, that upward revision, uh, quarterly earnings, was less than half of a percent. So, you know, forward earnings, people aren't jumping out of their seat saying that this company is really going to perform. And, uh, you know, for 2018, they're saying uh, maybe a 10% earnings growth from 17, 4% in 2019. So 4% earnings in 2019, again, that type of growth is not something that's going to get me out of my seat ready to invest in this company. And, you know, while the earnings uh, valuations, which were closer to 30 times trailing earnings uh, late last year and early this year, which again had me really renewing the short call on this stock. It's gotten a little more tame now, but frankly, I'd like to see it come under 20 times trailing earnings, uh, you know, before I, I put my money into this. And, uh, you know, let's just assume for the time being that the stock performs to its 2019 earnings and 20 times earnings would be $44 a share. Okay, that's close to the 46 that it's currently trading at, but there's a lot of time between now and 2019. A lot of estimates that could get revised, a lot of things can change. So right now I'm still on the short side of Fastenal, but uh, I think that over time, if the stock continues to go sideways or edge down in the lower 40s and we still get to see that earnings growth, I may begin to kind of change to the hold side and eventually the buy side. But really, I want to look at this earnings growth and see if it gets more dynamic. I also want to see earnings continuing to grow at this 4, 5, 6% rate. I want to see better earnings here. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want to see the stock price go much higher to keep that trailing PE high. I want to see that trailing PE come down closer to 20 to reflect 
the current environment. If we see all that, then I may change my mind on Fastenal, but as of right now, I'm on the short side of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.